Hi guys, four months ago, 16 weeks, would you Adam and Eve it? I put this video up on my channel and it, it's got a load of views really for videos on my channel. And um, it was all about the free version of Nick Collection. Okay, the old Google one. Okay, and I think it was 1.2.1 1 .1 or something like that. And how to bring back the plugins for use in Photoshop 2022 if you were on Mac because the plugins were all missing, but you'd actually got the software already installed. And over in that video, I, I sent you to this link here, and I'll put the link in the description below, rather like I did here on uh, this video. It's there, it's archive.org uh, forward slash details forward slash Nick Collection. And uh, yeah, and it worked. Uh, now, that was in the days before Adobe started misbehaving and forced everybody to upgrade to Big Sur or Monterey. Alrighty, so we are running on this machine. If I go here and go about this Mac, okay, so I am running in a fresh install of OS Monterey on a mid 2012 Mac Pro. In other words, an unsupported machine. And the reason we're managing to do this is through the miraculous creation of um, all the guys over at Open Core Legacy Patcher over at Dortania. And uh, yeah, many thanks to them for helping me to keep this rather fast and powerful machine um, off the scrap heap. Um, I do wish I could put a bigger graphics card in it. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So what we wanted to do was to actually get these plugins working in this video over in Photoshop 2022. Uh, but now we're in Photoshop 2023. And as Mac users, um, if we want to use that, we've had to do a completely fresh install of um, OS Monterey or OS Big Sur. And uh, yes, it, it, even those people who dare it use the word daft enough to actually go and install Ventura if they've got a machine that is ca capable of dealing with Ventura. And uh, don't use Ventura because it's still in its beta testing stage if you're careful and go and have a close look at it. So all you're doing is being uh, an unpaid beta tester for Apple, uh, which isn't a good idea. But anyway, um, in this video, I had a comment the other day um, from Molina and she said she couldn't actually get the DNG to install. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is show you how to install it uh, if you're on a Mac. Okay, if you're on a Windows machine, I don't know if you've got installation problems or not. But what I want you to do, and I'll put this link in the description below, so go and click it. And you come over to this page at archive.org, details, Nick Collection 4, 1.2.11. Uh, this is the old free one uh, that Google gave you. Alrighty. And if you come over to the download options, you can see if you're on a Mac, you can download the full DMG. It comes in a zip file, okay? And if you're on Windows, you can go and download the Windows executable here. Alrighty, so that's just about all I need. Um, as a matter of uh, course, um, have we got it on here? Is it showing up? No. Nick Collection 5, the Jewel of Editing with Dave Kelly. Um, Color Effects Pro, I mean, that's part of the uh, Nick Collection. And uh, if we head off over to Nick, uh, where are we? Nick Collection 5, here we go. Um, they've got a Black Friday deal on at the minute of £69. Yeah, then once that's over, they still want 135 quid for it. And uh, But it's only 35 quid if you've already spent a boatload of money with them and got Nick Collection 3 or 4. Alrighty. 
total rip-off because there's one or two things from what I can gather that have changed uh, from the old free version, but not a lot. Certainly not 105, 135 quid's worth of changes, and uh, I doubt very much if it's even £69 worth of changes. So, or even uh, £35 worth of reasonable changes. So, uh, there you go. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just come back over here and tell you to go and download, if you're on a Mac, uh, this disk image here. All righty. So, once it's downloaded, and uh, I'm just going to quit Firefox, um, you will see that in your downloads folder, you have this Nick collection full uh, 1.2.11. DMG and if we just click it and we'll get this arrives on our desktop and so all we'll do is just double click that and we'll begin the installer when it decides to work here we go very fine Nick collection open this version of Nick collection requires Mac OS 10.7 or newer um, well, I'm certainly on a newer version of Mac OS, uh, seeing as I'm on Monterey. The installer will now quit. What a load of twaddle. So, fundamentally, we click OK and we're back to square one. Now, the only thing is that, if you'll notice, yes, we've got this, but if you draw your attention over to the right-hand side of the screen, we've got this as well. So all I'm going to do is to close that. All right, so I'm going to leave this Nick collection here. And if I head off over to uh, Photoshop, and we'll fire Photoshop up. There we go. And I'm not going to bother opening an image, but if I go to filter, you can see the only filters I've got in are the three Topaz Labs ones that are used, which is Photo AI. Denoise AI and Sharpen AI. Okay, right. So we're going to go and quit Photoshop. And what we're going to do is to come and hover over this Nick collection. All right, installer icon on our desktop. And what we're going to do is right click. And we're going to go to new terminal app folder. All right. And this is going to shock and horrify a lot of Mac users um, because you're using something that looks like it comes from about 40 years ago. All right. <laughs> um, I'm surprised the number of Mac users that I speak to who don't even know that Terminal exists because this is what we're in, Terminal. And all we're going to do is to put in a command line now what i want you to do is just scroll down in the description box below open it up and you will see this command line and all i want you to do is to copy it just highlight it copy it and paste it into a terminal window so what we're going to do is go command v to paste and it is system underscore version underscore compat equals one space open space open inverted commas. Let's just stretch it out a bit so you can see it. Open inverted commas nick space collection dot app close inverted commas. All right. And all we're going to do is it return. And... There it is, very fine Nick collection. We'll go open and look at that. They'll come in. Yes. Thank you for installing the Nick collection. So yes, what we'll do is go and click continue. Um, I'm because I'm in England. I'm going to go for Eng English United Kingdom, and I'm going to go to accept. It's already found Photoshop 2023, and all I'm going to do is click continue. And we'll go install. And I need to put my uh, password in. And hit return. And there we go. We're extracting the files. And this will not take but a moment.
and the kit base, yeah, <laughs> set it small percent done. And then the installation was successful. So we'll close out of the installer and we will close out of terminal, uh, quit terminal. And uh, yeah, so what we're now going to do is go back to Photoshop and we'll open Photoshop up. And so we've now got the selective tool. All right, well, I can't be doing with that, so we'll close that down. And all I'm going to do, first off, if we look at filter, you can see Nick Collection here. But if I go to File, and I go to Open Recent, and uh, we'll open this shot of this Goss Orc, um, I've got to say, right at this moment, uh, a big thanks to all my Patreon supporters. And... Uh, uh, they help keep this channel going and uh, yeah uh, <laughs> thanks guys for your continued support and this is a shot i'm going to be using in uh, the third of a series of videos on um, noise reduction software by third parties which is over on my patreon site and uh, of course only patreon members can see it i might do something for you guys on youtube but uh, um me fundamentally i'm doing it for my patreon members first okay so let us now go and have a look at filter and nick collection and there they all are yes now i usually like to add this uh, nick collection available to me for silver effects pro and so there we go we can enliven it and uh, yeah now then here's your problem as i mentioned in the video previously if i just go and click ok i'm actually going to cause photoshop to crash uh, any moment now there you go lovely jubbly right so how do we get around that problem and so open up photoshop again bum, -bum, 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 -bum. and there we go Get rid of the selector. You, you can actually go into the settings and make that um, cease to pop up and be annoying. So we'll go to uh, File and we'll go to Open Recent and we'll go and open that self same image again. And there we go. And all we're going to do is Command or Control J to jump that image to a new layer. That is uh, the first part of the crash solution problem uh, the second part will come in a moment we will go to filter and we'll go to nick collection and we'll go to silver effects pro 2 and here it is we'll go through the same thing all over again and there we go now before we do anything we've got to come down to settings and after clicking ok Okay, we need to hit that tab and after clicking OK, you can see apply the filtered effect to a separate layer. This is the problem because it can't interface with Photoshop uh, 2022, 2021 or 2023. Um, under these current Mac OS's and actually generate the separate layer. So what you have to do is switch that out to current layer. And we'll click OK, rather like that. And that current layer is, of course, this secondary layer that we've introduced here. So we will click OK. And you watch now. Yeah, and there you go. Yes, and Photoshop goodness gracious me didn't crash okay guys and gals that's just about it um if you enjoyed this video uh, give it a thumbs up and give it a like or leave a comment and a nice comment in the comment section below and if you're feeling really grateful you can either head off over and join my patreon channel where you get access to over 160 at the moment um Patreon membership exclusive videos and articles. Or if you don't want to show that level of commitment, but you do want to say thank you, 
Um, I need all the help I can get, mates. I really do, folks. Seriously. So, if you're feeling slightly generous through a little bit of Christmas spirit, if anybody's got any left, um, <laughs> to the economic state of the world, um, just hit the old super thanks button. And uh, all donations gratefully accepted. All right, guys and gals, hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you found it useful. Hope you found it interesting. I hope it's answered a lot of people's problems on how to get the original free copy of um, Google Nick Silver Effects 1.2.11 uh, actually installed on a Photoshop 2023 on a Mac running in either Big Sur or Monterey, or that stupid Ventura thing. Yes, okie dokie. All right, guys and gals, until the next time, stay safe, stay well, keep taking the pictures, and don't do anything I wouldn't do, so that gives you plenty of scope. Until the next time, tooroo.